In this tutorial we're going to be looking at ways of structuring your program in LabVIEW and in particular we're going to be looking at the use of weights, loops and case structures. So we're going to start with a challenge that involves having a robot drive around on this field and stay on the field. So we'll start with a motor block set to make our robot go forward and then we want the robot to go forward until it reaches the black line. We'll use a wait at this point, but we don't want to wait for time because we don't know how long it will take for the robot to get to the edge. So instead we'll use a wait for light uh, set to darkness. So we're going to wait till we get down to a certain value. And you'll see down here I've got the values for silver, green and black uh, that I've already determined using the view option on the NXT brick. And you can see black reads as high as about 41 and green comes down to 61. So if I use a cutoff of 50 here and wait for the light to get darker than 50 then hopefully that will be a good indication of when we're on that black line. So I'll wire those two bricks together. Once we've hit that black line then we'll want the robot to reverse. Uh, and again I'll set this to B and C. Uh, and this time I will use a wait for time and we'll wait for half a second so I'll type in 0 0.5 here for the time so we're going to and I need to change this motor to be reverse uh, so motor on reverse so we'll back up for half a second and then what I want to do is um, actually I can just copy these two blocks but I will add a new constant here because both B and C are going backwards now if I change one of them to go forwards let's say motor B uh, goes forwards then that will go forward for half a second and so that should be good for backing up from the line and then turning around and now obviously I would like the robot to go forwards again um, I could add another motor forward block but it'd be a lot better if we could loop back around and repeat this whole structure so we do that by going into the NXT programming palette and then into structures and we'll select a while loop and this is pretty cool you can just drag out a while loop over all of this code and that code will be repeated and it will be repeated until this condition is met uh, that we have down in the bottom right hand corner so if we right click on that and uh, you can see there it's going to stop when the value coming into this is true uh, if we create a constant, the constant that we get uh, by default is false and so that means that this loop will repeat indefinitely. Okay, so let's imagine now that we want to allow for the for an extra condition so we want to be able to detect hitting the silver foil so while we're here waiting for dark we can't really be looking out for silver as well so what about instead of using a wait for dark we actually have some sort of test to see what our light value is and then we decide what we do accordingly so you remember I had these values for silver, green and black. So really if we're reading anything say above 70 um, that's going to count as silver and we'll, we'll stop. If we're reading between 50 and 71 we're on green so we'll keep moving forward and if we're reading below 49 then hopefully that means we're on black uh, in which case we need to reverse and turn. Now the way we implement this in LabVIEW is by using a case structure and case structure looks like this and by default it comes as a, as a true false case but this changes depending on what we wire into the case structure so we'll take a sensor block and we'll wire that in and you can see if it's, uh, if it's a touch sensor we've still got true or false as our options but if we change this to reading a light value and we'll do light value with the LED on then you'll see that our conditions for the case structure our selectors change now let's make it so that our default is if we get anything in the range 50 to 70 and notice that we use this double dots 
uh, to indicate the, the range. Uh, if we're reading um, up to 49, we're going to do something. Uh, what are we going to do? If it's up to 49, that's where we're on black, so we want to back up and turn. So in fact, I can just grab the code that we already had here from before, and I'm just going to drop this into this case structure and get rid of that broken wire with uh, Control-B. I'll move that over so it's a bit more readable. If we're between 50 and 70, we'll make our robot go forward. So I can just copy that in from before. And we need one more condition. We need 71 and above. So I'm, I'm right-clicked on that selector and I'll choose Add Case After and 71 and above so 71 dot dot and you'll notice that we haven't accounted for 70.5 well we we don't need to because it's a light value coming in and that's an integer but in any event if something was you know was going wrong then it would be picked up by the default case um, as for this one 71 or above that means we're on the silver so we want our robot to stop there so I'll make ports B and C uh, turn off with a break and then what we can do is we can actually just drop this into this whole thing into our loop so that what we will do is we will read the light value and we'll take that value into the case we'll make our decision accordingly based on these values um, and then we will go through and we will do the loop again so let's see how that works And there we have it, a program that makes use of a while loop, case structure, and weights.